Hello, I'm Robin Skeets. I'm the new Head of Department of Archaeology here in Durham. My brief for this short video is to actually... Well, the brief was, let's put it this way, to give you a whole load of data and statistics, which you've probably already seen on our website, which actually show you that we're really a great department. But frankly, I want to try and do something different. I want to try and describe the experience of what it's like in Durham and what I feel about what are the real strengths of of Durham and the experience here. So my research interests, they're really eclectic, and I suppose that helps as a head of department because you need to share an interest in really what everyone's got, uh, you know, doing, and uh, including our broad spectrum of student interests as well. So for me personally, I was trained as a prehistorian, so I work on prehistoric archaeology, particularly in Italy, but anywhere warm around there, so anywhere in the central Mediterranean. So that's one side, the area that I'm a, I suppose, I, well, I am an expert in. Uh, but the other side of me is that I've always been fascinated in museums and heritage. I grew up by a Norman castle, and so there was, a, there was always that, what's this past doing in my world today, where I'm living? What's it mean? What's it mean to the people around me? So I'm also interested in the past, in the present, and increasingly in the political uses and abuses of the past uh, that we've seen, particularly in the Middle East, sadly, in, in recent years. So in terms of, you know, my what I feel about this department, what kind of a place we're at, we're certainly strategic, we're always changing to circumstances. For example, we work all over the world, and so, you know, the world is a rapidly changing place, as we all know. We're a really dynamic department. We, we adapt to cha the changing world out there, and, and that's really important, that we, we stay fresh to new ideas, to, but also the wider world, the wider politics uh, and economics of, of the world. One thing that guides our daily interactions with our students, with each other, is this phrase that we're research-led. So all of our research informs what we're doing, particularly in teaching, and that really keeps our teaching fresh. It means we have to revise our teaching every year for sure, but it means that we can share the excitement of what we're working on right now and with our PhD students as well. So that means that that, that guides our daily interactions. We're a highly committed bunch of people, but the good thing is that we're not you know, so obsessed that we're not unappro that we're we're not unapproachable. In other words, we're accessible, we're friendly, and above all, we're a community. And that that can great that term community. It can mean so many things. But what we might mean by it is a, is a really you know a community of of like minded individuals who are really absolutely passionate about archaeology and sharing our passion uh, of archaeology. We've got archaeological scientists, we've got humanities-based archaeologists, and we've got archaeologists who are interested in museums, heritage, and the, and the practice and politics of archaeology today. So I would say that every day is different here in, in archaeology in Durham. You know, archaeology, like any subject area, has to stand up for itself and say what difference we're making in the world. I think we've got plenty of stories but relating to our research in this department, which demonstrate how relevant we are to the world today, whether it's looking at the uh, history, uh, both past and present, of leprosy, for example, or looking at um, the archaeological heritage in places like Syria and Libya uh, and trying to preserve them. Uh, alongside this terrible process of their destruction, or whether we're looking at uh, migrations uh, uh, right across Eurasia, a uh, particular time when migration is not only such a, a political issue, but also a you know, personal and social issue for so many people in Europe. It's really important that we're, we're working on these things. We're trying constantly to, to make relevant what we are doing because it's it's quite easy to you know create this sort of ivory towers environment in which we as academics are getting this research funding and we're doing this really micro research and we're not sharing it enough but we as a department stand for the complete opposite we want to share our research certainly at academic conferences internationally on the on the international stage but it's vital to our existence that we share the stories that we're producing both about the past and the present with, a, with as wide a public as possible but we genuinely believe in that kind of, of relevance of our work in, in the world today.
Communication is one of those words which also means a lot of things, but what it means to us is constantly debating, discussing the past, the present, the, the place of the past in the present. Uh, it means challenging what you're being taught, challenging some of the received wisdom. That's what we do as research archaeologists. That's what our community does with us as well, from our students right through to our, through to our postdocs. And so that feeds into the way that we encourage our students to really get involved in our research whether it's in the field or in one of our numerous laboratory projects because that's also a space for discussion debate not just receive wisdoms not just uh, and so it means that when you go on into your careers and they may not necessarily be in archaeology although we hope that but in your broader careers it means that you take a certain attitude a certain skill and a certain confidence from having studied here at Durham, uh, because you you're prepared to argue, to debate, but in a in a polite and and constructive manner. So, in terms of the new students that that we've been receiving over recent years and that we're expecting in, in now and in the future, you're a really broad bunch, and so it's 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 difficult to characterise you. But I think that's good because you're coming from a whole variety of different backgrounds these days. You've not necessarily been trained in archaeology or had experience on an archaeological dig. So you come with an interest, for example, in classics and ancient history or history or geography or biosciences. And so you're coming from a really broad range of subject areas. And I think that's one of our strengths as a department, that we're catering, trying to cater for those that breadth of interest. And catering for those student interests in Durham as a university is is equally a challenge because we're an old university and we have certain traditions and yet we're really trying, you know, we're trying, we believe we are very welcoming as, as, a, as a university, both at the college level, but also in a wide spectrum of other activities you can get into, whether it's uh, working at the university museums, volunteering there, or volunteering up on Palestrina in our exhibition spaces, or... Uh, working in the community doing volunteering work. Although primarily we, we, we're meant to be looking after your intellectual development, your, your minds, of, of course we recognise that you have an incredibly broad experience here at Dumb. There are plenty of extra curricular activities. And so it's finding a balance, really, between work and life. And that's what we all have to do. All of the staff have to do it as well, that we just don't work, work, work on our academic stuff as well, that we're human beings. And it's one of the pleasures, actually, of getting to know our students, to get to hear what also you're, you're getting into. That, I think, enriches our department, that we, we all bring stuff from the rest of our lives and throw that into the mix as well. So there's a broad range of activities that you can get involved in that, uh, that make Durham more than just the university, that it's, 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 it's a broad, enriching experience and hopefully it doesn't put you in a bubble away from the world but makes you prepared to face, uh, face the real world pretty soon after you graduate.